Hey, 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 fellas. Well, I don't know when the last time we did a pay review prediction video was actually. I don't think we don't payback. Maybe we don't payback. I don't think so. It was probably the one before payback. Because maybe Extreme Rules? Probably. Extreme Rules is kind of a big deal. Oh. The game. So we probably did that. But, hey, here we are. It's tomorrow. I'm excited. I'm excited as well. It's probably the day we're going to watch this video. Yeah, Colby's excited. Colby's excited. He's coming over. Colby will be cameo on the video. Cameo on the video. Um, so let's let's get into it, guys. We'll start off with uh, the women. Dude, that, that Divas contract signing on SmackDown is one of the best contract signings in a long time. I'm going to have to watch it. It was real solid. Can I watch it? Did it tape? Oh, it didn't tape because we got the new DVR. It wasn't set up yet. Hulu Plus. Um, doesn't that cost money? Two weeks free if you use Colt Merch, if you use Colt Cabana's uh, coach. I'm going to have to go with Colt Cabana. You can watch so. NXT on it as well. I'll go with Colt Cabana for two weeks then. Hulu.com, HuluPlus.com slash Colt, I think it was. I like he it. He says it on his podcast. All right. So, hey. Shout out to Colt Cabana. We're giving us free plug right now. We love him. And Hulu Plus. All right. So... Colby, we have Colby's picks. Colby's picking AJ for reasons known to Colby. No, no. Now you go. I'm also picking AJ for reasons known to Jake, basketball reasons, and the fact that they finally have a real storyline for the Divas for the first time in how long. That's true. And the hot shot is back and forth might not be the worst idea. I wouldn't be opposed to it. I'm not going to freak out if Caitlin wins. I got to roll with AJ here, though, because I want to see. Because, like, AJ is getting real legitimate whip her ass heat. Mm -hmm. Like when Caleb goes after her, it's like, get up, yeah. get up, beat her up. It's happening. Because it's like she's not just like making fun of her. She's like trying to break her down. Yeah. And she's trying to like manipulate her and like twist her. And mm -hmm. it's, it's riveting television. And I'm totally enthralled every time they do one of these segments. In fuego. In fuego. And because of that, I want to see AJ's carried a little bit long, just a tiny bit. I want to, I want to see the big switch at SummerSlam. Makes sense. Um, I'm picking Caitlyn because I feel like WWE's gonna go with the. Uh, she's just been pushed to her limits, and we. She's just been so strong, and she's waited, and then she's finally gonna beat down the bad girl. That's what I'm going with because that makes sense to WWE. Yes, it does. Because you can't show that bad people can get over on people. Because AJ's being mean, guys. AJ's being mean. Yeah, so Caitlyn's really. going to win. She's going to take the title. AJ's going to freak out. And that's the whole thing with the, the whole Dolph thing. I just Because, you know, every time she sees Dolph, he's like, you need to quit being, you know, da -da 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 -da, don't be so mean. Because Dolph's trying to turn Dolph to his face now. Yeah. And AJ's still off in her own little thing. So I don't know. I just think Caitlyn oh. gets the best of her. Yeah. I'm picking Caleb. That's what it is. Yeah. Um, then we got the match I think should be the pre-show instead of the Shield match, but whatever. Miz versus Curtis Axel. Colby picked Curtis Axel. I picked Curtis Axel. I picked Curtis Axel. You don't? Tell him why. It's probably the same reason as everybody. Why, why the Miz? Exactly. It's not as much why, why would you have or Axel lose, but why would the Miz even win it? Right exactly. Now? He's had the IC title like three times in the past like six months. And no one's cared. Exactly. He wanted it Raw 1000. Then he had it at WrestleMania. Yeah, and then he lost it the next night. Yeah. Oh, it's classy. I feel like he won it around Survivor Series. Yeah, seriously. It just makes no sense. So, yeah, that's... The most must-see IC champion. That's not true. Really? I loved him, like, two years ago. Three. I loved him so much. He, I, he didn't My only regret is that you missed the heyday of The Miz. Like, you came in just a little oh, too yeah. late. Because then you'd understand. He was the man. He was so over with everyone. It was probably just because he was feuding with Cena, but he was so good. Even when he was U.S. champ, he had money in the bank. Oh, my gosh. He was the man. Oh, oh he was the man. But yeah, we're all taking Curtis Axel for the reason he just said. Basically because why the Miz? Why the Miz? Why not Axel? Right? Exactly. Um, so then we got Ryback versus Jericho. Colby's picking Ryback. I'm picking Ryback. I'm picking Ryback. Basically the same thing. Why Jericho now? It's, why not Ryback Yeah. Now? Why well, not just... I want to believe that they're not completely getting rid of Ryback because now he just gets hurt every match and he starts complaining he wants the match to end. But he did get a win over The Miz on SmackDown. He kind of like – he kind of acted like he was more – I mean, he still – end of the match, he still like limped and everything. But he think he acted a lot more hurt than he was so he could come back and get him and get the win. Yeah, I, thought, I thought in his last SmackDown he ended the match again. Mm -hmm. No, he won. Yes, he was like – yeah, okay, he was talking to the ref, closed 
Pulse Line, and then he had the Chell Shot. Oh. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, cinco, seis. Um, so yeah, I just think Jericho's came, He all he wants to do is put guys over, so why not Ryback, the guy that, you know, they had Cena kill, so if he loses, he hasn't won a pay-per-view match ever. He, if he loses to the guy that hasn't won since last SummerSlam on pay-per-view, like Jericho might be the only guy that has like a, the only major guy that has a lo- longer losing streak on pay per view than Ryback. This is like the, it, the let's say this I get, no no he beat Fandango at Extreme Rules, but still that's Fandango. This is, this is the NFL equivalent of if the Cowboys and Giants were both three and eight. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like these guys should be bigger deals than they are. Actually, let's let's say three and six because it's like oh man, you know they're down there at the bottom. No one really thinks they're a good team, Start it. but there's still a solid contingency that still thinks, "Oh yeah, you know, if we pull, if we get, if we get a win here and win the next game, we're five and six. Yeah, and we're gonna exactly. Move up. It's not like they're out of. It's they're, not like they can't be saved. Yeah. So yeah, that makes sense. But, yeah, we're all rolling with Ryback. Um, we'll go uh, the Rising Stars, Money in the Bank. All three different on this one. Colby's going Fandango. I'm going with Dean Ambrose. Also, you talk first before because then I'll talk to you because we're different. In 2011, I picked Daniel Ryan to win this. Same, basically the same level of match, off of the sheer fact that A, he was, my, he was my favorite dude in the match, and B, it made so much sense in not wrestling ways, like not WWE universe, but like the real uh-huh. full-on wrestling world. It makes sense. It made sense. For Daniel Bryan, the guy who was essentially made in the Chicago area, in that same area. Picks up a huge win on a major pay per view in that area, and the crowd would go nuts, and that would propel him to be a star. And it somewhat worked. He lost a whole lot after that. He carried, he went in the Survivor Series. That match with Barrett was solid. He got a big reaction out of there, and then he slowly went downhill. I don't think they'll do that with. Wait, who, Brian? Yeah. I thought it was SummerSlam. SummerSlam, yeah. Oh, I said, I said, Same basis. Yeah. I said Survivor Series. A big four, yeah. yeah. Whatever. Same thing. Yeah. Match against Barrett. Um, that was solid. I remember yeah. that now. Yeah, and his reaction was solid. Barry's reaction. It was just real solid on a match that card that wasn't. That was solid. the match that everyone. Uh, if a big indie star comes out as a solid match with a guy that no one cares about, did it ever happen? It happened. That's what we talked about two years later. It happened, guys. Yeah. We remember. And I think Dean Ambrose is that next. Like, even he has the U.S. belt, but they, they did the guys in the U.S. belt before. Yes. Yeah. And that was great. That was such a fun time. Yeah, and it's. And he's all he's already an out cast with his two buddies, and that's really about it. Mm-hmm. So him with this power diverts your attention to him. Yeah, you're like, oh, he has this and this. All of a sudden, people's eyes go to him. Maybe that's why they've been doing the separate thing. Like they don't come out for the matches together anymore. Yeah, not like a breakup, but just to be like, okay, this is two. Yeah. They're a group of their two separate. Like yeah, they're, they're separate they're, entities. They're separate, yeah. They show up, they're still you, and they'll do the fist pump, and then turn it off. Yeah, but then they're like, hey, well, I ain't got no worries. You got this. Yeah. You're fighting Kofi. Yeah. yeah. I, also, but you, but you go back, and it's almost the same in two years later. Because Dan O'Brien wasn't super, you know, he was basically established at the same level. And everyone kind of thought, well, when's he going to take that next step? We all, we all see it. When are they going to give him that push? Ambrose has been in there a lot less time, but he's oh, accomplished yeah. so much, and he's... Oh, yeah. Show he's me, he's much showing higher him. than Brian, I think. He's beaten Cena in matches, Orton in matches, took out the Undertaker. Yeah. He's he's by far the highest elevated in this match right now. Yeah, and you're in a place Philly was oh, yeah. where he was really born in the Indy Star. Mm-hmm. Let's give him give him the briefcase in Philly and then let him carry it in the carry it in the SummerSlam. And then let him actually win at SummerSlam and not like a little punk. Mm-hmm. I think it'll be very solid. It makes sense. Yeah, you look at the list. Cesaro. No, he's he's in a, he's in a not transition yet. phase. Not yet. Jack Swagger. No, he had. His I'm picking Cesaro. Cesaro is my early pick to win next, next year. year. Yeah. Fandango. Sorry, Colby. I just don't see it. I don't see that. Uh, Sandow and Rhodes. I don't. I see them costing There's each other. There's other storyline reasons. You know? It really. It for me, it came down to Barrett and Ambrose. I'm just going with Barrett because. I like Dean Ambrose. I don't think Dean Ambrose is ready at all. I love Dean Ambrose. Will I be? Will I complain if he wins tomorrow? Absolutely not, because I love the guy. But is he ready? No. Wade Barrett 
is that dude. He has gone through so much shit. Yeah. He was, oh, he wasn't ready at the time. He was, I, I would even say he was more ready then than now, but I think he's more ready than Ambrose from the point of he's more believable as the point of he's six, five guy. It just makes sense that all of a sudden he could come out of nowhere and be like, hey, I'm through with this shit. I'm going to go ape crazy again. Because he, he has that build. He's been there for like three, three-ish years now. Yeah. He's gone through. He's gone through so much. This is more, more so like, hey, we know you have the potential. You know, you've done some stuff wrong. We've definitely not helped the case in a lot of ways. So, let's try it. This is the rising stars one. You know, of these guys, I, I think if you look at these guys as a whole, I feel like it's almost, all around it's, almost, it's a last ditch effort. Yeah, I feel like all guys. around they've put. And I, he's been there longer than some of these guys too. But I feel like they've put the most overall towards him not so much right now but in general that it's like okay we put a lot into this guy why not when are we ever going to give him a chance the del rio theory oh, the del rio del, one. oh but i don't sure. compare him to del rio because fuck del rio um because I, I i liked wade barrett at some point and i still like him a little bit at yeah. least so that's just my theory i'm going with here because i i just don't see it i just feel like he's been a favorite to win it the past two years so i'm just going with the theory of why not? Yeah. Let's roll with it. If you look at it this way, too, they always seem to have somebody cash or cash in that night or cash in quickly. I can't see Ambrose cashing in quick. And a lot of guys in the Raw match, I don't see I don't see that happening, especially if other things happen. Barrett could block out there after the was a champ. It makes and, sense, yeah. And then you have, another, you have a real... He opponent. has the theme song for it, too. So does Ambrose. Yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh. Everyone just goes... Where is he at? He comes running down the stage. I mean, he comes running down the arena. Move, move, move. I just see Ambrose having a too much of a methodical entrance to do anything. He just goes, Dude. Well, I mean, they, had, like, they came out super fast in Survivor Series. Well, they didn't have an entrance. Yeah. They just kind of appeared. I could see him also doing something crazy, like his law matches going on, hopping the barricade and just hitting somebody with the chair. That's true. And throwing the other guy out and then cashing in like that's that. The that's Long what I've never understood on. is why doesn't like a guy with a briefcase just come out, crank a guy, get DQ, oh, who gives a shit? Here, cash is in. Dun, yeah. dun, dun, dun. Over. Yeah. That, I must be a guy to do that. Yeah, I can see that. But, yeah. Um, Barrett, Barrett would be a, my third pick. I, I think they'd do something crazy with Rhodes. I'm still on the bandwagon of they don't like Cody Rhodes. I don't like I, I can agree but, with that. But then again... The fa- the the only way I I mean yeah if I'd say Rhodes is my third guy just because they've kind of been doing the build up of Am or uh, uh, Sandow where every time Cody Rhodes tries to talk Sandow did it so I could see this thing it comes down to those two and Cody Rhodes overcomes him because they've kind of made him look like the, like the weaker link of yeah. the two because he just hasn't been able to do anything for a while so he has the definitely has the uh, Build up or lack of build up to a guy they could have win it to where he like proves his partner wrong, like oh, see, and then he kind of like a face turn. Mm-hmm. Um, I think this is a bigger deal than this. We'll talk about this first. Yeah. Del Rio versus Ziggler. Colby pick Ziggler. I pick Ziggler. I pick Ziggler. This, I think this is this is wishful thinking for me. I think so too. Did you? This he's, is wishful he's, thinking. He's got, over, he's got over almost every week. Yeah, this is and wishful thinking. It's one of those for me. things where you can't go over that often and then go back over again. But unless they fully realize that they screwed the pooch. That's yeah. what I, that's what I'm hoping. It's wishful thinking mixed with hopefully they're seeing the reaction Del Rio's getting. Oh my gosh! It was, and the Ziggler. Like, do you see SmackDown the Ziggler se- segment? Or not, you know, this no, one I only yeah no I didn't see this part. I only saw oh, bits and man. pieces. Another cl- SmackDown in the summer is unparalleled. I was up there with Sharknado with the top, <laughs> the top sci-fi thing. So Teddy gives Ziggler the night off, right? Okay. From matches or everything? Yes, he's supposed to leave the building. Oh, okay. And then uh, announces that Del Rio has a match against Sin Cara. So... Uh, Did Ziggler wear the Sin Cara mask? He, he, wore the, he wore the Sin Cara mask and tights and everything except he wore his own boots. If he went out there and just whooped his ass... And then red, and then red in the back, or hit a zigzag, and then left. And then after that, they did a. Moves. Oh yeah, no. After that, they go backstage and uh, and uh, it shows Sin Cara walking, and Taylor like, "I told you to leave, Dolph." And he's like, <laughs> and Dolph is like, "Hey, tell me, drop my phone." Oh my gosh. And I think if you do it on a rock, why is SmackDown so rough? 
I don't know, but he's ran with everything he's done so far. Yeah, he's ran with everything he's done so far. I gotta hold him on this. It, it makes sense. It's one of the ones you're picking with your heart, not your mind. It's yeah, it's a mixture. It's not full blown because it's not like Del Rio's loved by all right now. Or anybody? Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. He's so it's by like five guys. Yeah, like there's wishful thinking. This isn't so much. I don't know. I see confidence interval. I wouldn't put very much. No confidence. confidence this is not high. It's very hopeful. I'm thinking. I'm hoping my hopefulness tells it to be much better of an idea, but I'm not. I don't think so. All right, all stars. Uh, Colby picks Rob Van Dam. Dumbest pick I've ever heard. Colby, come on, man. I hate that guy. You're picking. You're gonna win it again, baby. My boy D. Bryant. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> you watched Raw recently? Yeah, that's why he's not going to win. That, no, I mean, I think they're starting to realize that when guys have momentum, pulling it out of the pay is not the smartest idea. Mm. Especially when it's like the whole thing people are always complain about the start and the stop. Yeah, that's true. He's going. Why would you stop? Mm-hmm. Um, um, I mean, unless you carry out a storyline out of this, but he's already fought everyone else in this match. Except RV, of course. And there's a lot of those that don't make sense uh-huh. for a few. You know, he's our Christian one doesn't make sense. No, so Sheamus doesn't make sense. RVD already one, fought Orton a lot. Yeah, Punk already happened, and Punk's already got Lesnar. Yeah. Um. So, and if Punk didn't have the whole Lesnar thing, he's walk, he's walking out of this quickly. Yeah. Who do you th- oh do you think Kofi's the mystery guy? I Kofi or Ray? And Colby said Ray. And I'm saying I can tell you Colby's logic because him and I came to consensus on this. Okay. He was Ray was listening to the article. What article? The article on W.com. It's like different possible guys, and they mentioned all Who'd these they guys. Say? They said they said Kofi, Big Show, and they said Stone Cold and Hulk Hogan. I'm like a joke. No Ray. Ray hasn't been mentioned a whole lot. That is a surprise thing. Would pop the younger demographic. There's not a whole lot of here that could pop the younger demographic. Whatsoever. And you have him get some sort of momentum at this point to where he can be on your SummerSlam card because you want him on there because he's a draw at SummerSlam. He's, I just don't think Philadelphia likes him. Remember Chicago? They hated him. Yeah. And they, they love everyone when they come back, though. I'm saying Bray Wyatt. Bray, 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 Bray. I'm just saying Bray Wyatt because it's so obvious, but no one's talking about it. That's, I'm just saying it. I'm big. <laughs> the, dick, the dick train is back, boy. Got the beard going. It comes back full throttle tomorrow, guys. If I can find my shirt, I'll wear it. It is back tomorrow. Randall Keith Orton wins money in the bank to secure his heel turn. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. He's done nothing for like two and a half whole years. Nothing at all. Hasn't even got a shot. Hasn't even got a shot. And where he is right now, I don't see a way that he gets up there without this. That's why I'm going against the Daniel Bryan thing because he's already there. It makes, honestly, it would, at this point, it would make more sense for Daniel Bryan to just fight John Cena instead of just Randy Orton just fighting John Cena because what has Orton done lately? He hasn't won ever. He lost at WrestleMania. Did he have a match at Extreme Rules? No, he won the big show at Extreme Rules. Oh, beat the big show with a punt. That was sick. Um, that was sick. And then, did he, what did he do at Payback? Payback, he lost to the Shield. So it's like, come on, guys. I don't see a way that he can conceivably just get back there. And I'm thinking he's getting back there. I'm hoping he's getting back there. And I'm, I'm just... I'm, he's been on fire. Yeah, he's been really good lately. I mean, you, I, I, that just might be WWE's day where all these guys on top just yeah. want to have better matches. Yeah, so they are. Really, everyone... I don't want to say everyone but Cena, because Cena has had that solid match with mm-hmm. Punk. No, you can tell... You can tell that... Everyone is going hard because, like, as of this second, there's plenty more guys that I like seeing more than CM Punk right now. CM Punk pisses me off when he's a face. Gets on my nerves. He has his face. He just cracks Cena-ish jokes, and it pisses me off. Just let him be himself. Stop it. it drives me insane. I don't like it at all. That's why I'm, I'm Brock Lesnar 24-7 right now. Brock Lesnar's about to interrupt this match. And F5 and off the ladder. Hammer. CM Punk pisses me off right now. I'm just saying it. Um, so, yeah, like you said, if CM Punk would be a much bigger deal if the Lesnar thing wasn't 
happening, but come on. This is looming. And I just want Randy Orton. <laughs> this is a mixture. This is this is the that's that's the match I'm going most for tomorrow. That's the heart pick. Oh my gosh, that's the heart pick that I think is gonna well, happen. The 2011 Daniel Bryan pick. Yeah, pretty this, much. This is essentially your. Except this isn't like the most underdog pick of the match. That was just out of nowhere. That was it really money. was. That was money. Um, Orton really hasn't been won recently at all. That's it, why I'm saying it's almost like the same sort. Of, I, mean, I don't want to say it's the same sort of thing. That's what I'm saying. Same position where it's guys, time. guys stuck. I'm just it's, saying, yeah. everything else, it, any other results could happen tomorrow. If you, as long as Orton wins, you'll see this. Just the review the whole time. I'll be like, hey, Dolph Ziggler's ass kicking twenty seconds, <laughs> but hey. All right, last Maybe match. Sin Cara do this, maybe. Okay, you're the one that made a twenty or a Sin Cara prop video. I've never said I agreed with that, yeah. but I let you have your time. So hey, maybe you never know. I wouldn't complain. He could do some nut stuff. He's really good at getting put through the ladder. <laughs> that was sick. The last match: John Cena, Mark Henry. Colby pick Mark Henry. I pick Mark Henry. I don't know why you ran Cena sucks so when you picked Cena. You're just trolling people right now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You can talk about yours first. Because I like, oh, if you a good move, I'll talk about why Mark Henry's going to John Cena's going to win because he is scheduled to wrestle Michael Strahan Monday morning, and he's not going to roll up to Good Morning America without the belt. Rest my case. Oh, my God. You know what? He's going to go to Good Morning America without the championship, and Mark Henry's going to lay him out there. And they're going to build that SummerSlam match that people are going to want to watch. Mark Henry is going to win, going to go over, and then lay him out on Good Morning America Monday night, Monday morning. And then on Raw, he's going to talk about that's what he does, and he's going to carry the Hall of Pain Part 2 to the new heights. Cena's the best. <laughs> anyway, uh, you guys can let us know what you think. You guys can tell us what you think about our picks, what you yeah, think, what's going to happen. A lot of you guys just tell, you, tell us what you think. Because it happened regardless. Yeah. A lot of times we see your guys' opinion on Raw after, like, two minutes after we post a video. We didn't even watch the video yet. Yeah, come on, guys. But we appreciate the fact that you send us your thoughts immediately. We read them. We nod. And uh-huh. we say, oh, okay. Yeah. Well, give us some feedback, too, as well. Makes sense. Yeah. So, yeah. Let us know what you think. Yeah. We're excited for tomorrow. Let us know who you think the last man, if one, is added to the Raw. Yeah, that's, that's what I want to hear, too. Love all star event. All star event. Because we in here. If you say Jomo, he's down. He's down the road. Right he's there. in Mesquite, yeah. Utah, Nevada, Mesquite, Nevada. So don't pick Jomo, or do pick Jomo. It was all around. But hey, pick Triple H. Please don't pick Triple H. Anyway, subscribe if you're not subscribed to us. We do stuff like this sometimes. A lot of times we put up reviews that kind of are eh. This one's solid though. This, this solid one. Preview. We talk about wrestling. We have a good time. Is the best. Yeah. That's what it should say. Cena sucks. Nothing. All right. Well, we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see for the we'll review see us tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah, we won't see you tomorrow, or will we, government? <laughs>